a fake season 10 map is going around. We've got a brand new sniper rifle coming later today. A hacker that actually cheated during the World Cup qualifiers has struck again during the trio's Clash Cup. And how you guys can get a free 1000 V-Bucks if you are a mobile player. Yo guys, what is going on? Bubbles here. Today we have got a bunch of random yet cool stuff to be talking about. Season 10 is literally just around the corner and we've only got a few days left of Season 9. I believe it's 8 days. The 1st of August is when the Season 10 will be going live. We've got a few leaks here in this video and we've also got some cool stuff that isn't obviously a leak. It is just rumours and it's kind of just people's theories to talk about in this video. And one of them is an actual closet feature that we could potentially be seeing. Honestly, so much cool stuff to be talking about. If you do go on to enjoy the video, then obviously smash that like button. Subscribe to me for more Fortnite content, especially if you guys are going to be wanting to see content for season 10 and the lead up for it and as well as that creator code bubbles in the Fortnite item shop to help support me if you are new around here and you haven't used my code before make sure you do send me over a photo of you using my code and i will give you a shout out in my next video but anyway guys let's get cracking straight into this video the first thing i do want to talk about is this three 1000 v bucks that you potentially could have got if you are indeed a mobile player Fortnite did actually just released a 0.1 update so it was nine point 4.1 I believe it was and there was basically a big big bug which meant the mobile players on Apple devices literally couldn't play the game whatsoever so obviously this was awful I think it went on for about a day or two even which doesn't seem like a lot but you imagine if you're a PC try hard player and you're playing all day every day and uh, and then you can't play for a couple of days that's a big deal so yeah it was fortnite's way of apologizing and saying sorry you couldn't play they did indeed give 15 tiers free as well as a thousand v bucks pretty damn good offer i did log in to check to see if i got the thousand v bucks because uh, i would love me the thousand free v bucks but no i didn't because obviously during that duration of time i had logged on to my playstation account so fortnite were like nah you played our game you ain't getting no thousand v bucks so yeah sad times for me but for anyone that is actually a mobile player and couldn't play i know a couple of you out there so yeah there, there's some free v bucks to go towards the battle pass for you guys now next up here we have an image of a mini map leak if that's what we want to call it for the season 10 now this has been going around there's been rumors oh my gosh look it's a new map no it's not i just wanted to throw this in here to clarify to you guys don't listen to these rumors it is not true one little bit i'll throw the image on the screen now this is the image that people have been saying this is the map and uh, it's not the season 10 map this image here is literally nothing more than a cheat sheet cheat sheets are literally little maps that have been created during maybe every single week that more and more get made during the weekly challenges or maybe even the overtime challenges that we should be seeing in a couple of days i made a video of all of that stuff so you can go check that out but for these overtime challenges someone might make a cheat sheet which basically says this is how you do this challenge this is how you do this this is the locations of finding all of those areas that kind of thing that's all this image is it is not the leaked season 10 image unfortunately but at the same time fortunately i'm glad it's not because uh, i kind of would like to save that for a little surprise for myself and all of you guys for uh, when season 10 actually does go live next up here we do indeed have the closet feature that a lot of people have been talking about. I found this out on Reddit and I saw it, I read it and it actually, I read it <laughs> and it actually looked really damn interesting. So someone did indeed post that basically they had an idea where what they wanted to do was create a feature in which they could pick out their favorite character skin with the, their favorite back bling and pickaxe and make a combo basically of items. And then they could save it in their, what this is called, what this guy's called it, closet. And then saving it, maybe you've got 10 different closets, say, or 10 different slots in your closet, and you can save 10 different outfit combos. I think this sounds absolutely awesome. Obviously, there's a lot of skins out there which don't have backlings with them, or they just don't fit their own backlings, and they fit other ones better. And yeah, I thought this was really cool. It's a feature that obviously, it's not in the game yet. It's not leaked to be in the game. It's not in the files or anything, but it's a very solid idea that I would love to see come in the game. What I do love about these Reddit posts, Posts is that epic do actually read these a lot and they do integrate a lot of this stuff in the game so this is definitely something that i would love for epic 
to actually see and try put in the game. Because I honestly see no downside to it. It honestly would be really damn cool. It would be a nice new feature that we could actually see. Just, you know, doing what Fortnite do best and keeping the game new, fresh. And yeah, honestly, I would be using this a lot. Make a bunch of different favorite combos. And it would be nice to just be able to go, right, I want to wear that outfit. I want to wear that outfit. Rather than go, right, that one, that one, that one, that one. If you get what I mean. But yeah, that feature, like I said, it's not official yet. But let me know down in the comments right now. Would you like to see it or not? Simply put, closet yes if you would or closet no if you wouldn't. Next up here, we got a new sniper rifle that should be coming later today. Yesterday, I did actually make a video and literally as I was rendering it out, I went over to Twitter and I saw that this gun was in the coming soon area and I literally thought, damn it, I could have put that in the video. But it's in today's video, a little bit later, but it doesn't matter. It is apparently going live at 1 p.m. today. It's currently 20 to 11. So not too long to go. I'm gonna be streaming a bunch later to so giving this thing a go But what, what is this new weapon basically? It is indeed called the storm scout sniper rifle I keep on forgetting the name after people reading it because it's a bit of a long one Normally, it's literally bolt sniper rifle or something simpler but storm scout sniper rifle so what is the tagline that goes with this? Knowledge is power. Stay ahead of the competition with this weather tracking sniper rifle. Honestly, sounds absolutely sick. How this is going to work, we don't know. It's obviously a weather tracking sniper. So either one of two things, it's simply going to be like a thermal scope. And that's going to be it. We can obviously see through the storm that way. Or is it where it's weather tracking? Does that mean then that we're going to potentially see what the storm is going to be, the next location for it? That would be honestly really damn cool and I'd love to see that. Obviously a few seasons ago now we did actually have some sort of backpack that was an item. I believe it was a backpack anyway and you basically picked it up, took up a slot in your inventory and it actually told you the next location of the storm. I don't think it was in the game for long. I think it was like a couple of days maybe. I don't know if they even re-released it. I think they did. But yeah, it was honestly kind of crazy. And I think it was so OP they literally vaulted it almost straight away, I believe. Uh, I did use it back in the day though, if I remember correctly. Maybe I'm making all of this up. But I remember some sort of weather tracking backpack. Now we got this sniper. So is this sniper somehow going to be tracking the storm? That honestly sounds really damn cool. And Epic have actually just unvaulted the bolt action sniper. So glad to see that thing back in the game. So now we've got the bolt action, the heavy. We've got this new one coming. And obviously there is still the semi-auto sniper. They need to put that thing back in the vault where it belongs. It's trash. Come on now, Fortnite. Get rid of that. We don't need four snipers in the game. So let, let's get rid of that and stick with some solid three bolt heavy and this weather tracking that that seems like a good variety of snipers if you ask me next up here we have some info about a hacker now this hacker did actually hack and he cheated during the world cup qualifiers i believe it was week two and he comes second place and it was found out that he was actually cheating he was teaming epic saw this they banned him as well as 1200 other accounts that actually got banned during the qualifiers of the world cup crazy amount of people that were literally hacking and cheating to get into it obviously there's 30 million dollars on the line i understand why people would want to do it but why you would do it is two completely separate things and uh, obviously i totally disagree with this he only got a two week ban on his fortnite account he can go make another fortnite account and play on that during the meantime I honestly really don't see how that punishment was good enough and clearly it wasn't because during the trio cash cup he done it again back at it literally pretty much even in the same location I've got a few clips here to show you guys one of them obviously is during the actual world cup and the other one is is during the trio cash cup I'll put a little right in font so you guys can see exactly what one it is there are some other guys talking in these videos I unfortunately don't know who they are I just found these clips off of their off of a web page and I was like I have to put this in my video it's crazy how people can literally cheat and not learn from their mistakes and do it again and again it's not even a mistake though it's, it's pure just stupidness it really is but yeah enjoy the clips and I'll see you after them all right ready dude all right boys here we are at the last game World Cup Finals he gives it landing at his drop spot you know, you know, just last game. Just, you know, hey, yo, guys, guys, yo, land on me real quick. I need a couple points, boys. 
Bad and Muji, one of Ziff's friends. You know, dude, Jesty, who can who could probably land in Polar Peak right now. <laughs> you know, he's just chilling up here. Ziff lands on this pump. Just oh my god, man. Ziff lands on this pump. Go to gameplay real quick. Run around. Muji lands. What is Muji doing? He sees him land on the pump. Starts pickaxing this. Doesn't grab the pump. Pickaxes the chest. Like a complete and dies. 31 points, by the way. 31 points. He's he's a lost cause. Zips in the running. Let's not forget. Let me just go back real quick. Look at Justy now. Gameplay. Okay, let's see. Oh, you see two kids fighting down here? Who's contesting this drop? Not a gun in sight except that purple pump. You already see two kids fighting? Yes. Crouches. Grabs it, runs in all those mats. Doesn't grab anything. Purposely shoots the brick. Purposely shoots the brick for this. You know, some really good piece from Ziff here though on uh, two insanely talented players that were not in the running anymore. So it appears if he's going for this thing, this drone at first. Uh Ronaldo's gonna get there first though. He's gonna get the chest, so like any, you know, normal thinking person, he's gonna turn away because he doesn't want to get killed off spawn. So he's gonna go then where Ziff and his teammate are right here. So at this point his teammate's probably like, yo dude, I got a guy on me. I'm getting shot, I'm pretty much dead. So if he doesn't want to die off spawn, which is why he avoided the drone, then you'd think that he would just go land in the slip or hit a geyser or something, because there's so many of those things around here and land somewhere else. What does he do? He looks around, sees that there's no gun he can use. Still decides to land directly on Ziff with a knock teammate and goes for the pickaxe. I I don't know what to think of it. Oh. Hey, what the f is this? Look at look at Ziff! He's farming points again! Wait, that what? just on the house! Yo! Wait, wait, wait what? Ziff was dude, there was guys just dancing on top of the salty house. Yeah, so about that. Honestly, like I was saying before, that blows my mind how this guy has continued to literally cheat all the time. It's always been by actually teaming. So basically what that means is he literally probably pays people to jump into a game, land where he lands, and feeds them, him kills to get points, obviously, to qualify. And one point is so much during these these qualifiers and that one point is literally one of these kills that he gets and it's just it's just disgusting really it really does blow my mind but that is indeed all i've got for you guys today quite a lot of cool stuff random stuff indeed but i really enjoyed talking about all these topics in this video if you guys did also enjoy this discussion today then obviously smash that like button and subscribe to me for more fortnite content obviously sniper rifle is coming out later today storm tracking no it's three s's i forgot the name of it already storm scout sniper rifle that's the one storm scout sniper rifle it's out in a couple of hours really excited to stream that later on today make sure you guys are using code bubbles in the fortnite item shop to help support me and send me over some pictures links in the description to all my social medias and all that good stuff but anyway guys thank you for watching the video and until next time see ya